Hello everyone, this is Justify Speaks and today we're trying Malutai Instant Ramen. So previously I created a video about different flavors of KitKat and one of the sellers in Lazada, the iJapan shop contacted me to create another video for free for their Marotai Instant Ramen so they sent me 6 flavors they have 8 flavors right now so these are Instant Ramen and this is my first time trying this one and there's an instruction at the back the instruction is in Japanese but there are specific things in there like 500 milliliter. basically it's water uh, there's one, there's three I'm not sure but I'll cook each and, each and every one of them every time I'm craving for ramen. So iJapan Shop also sent me a message about this about this instant ramen because everything is in Japanese and I can't read Japanese and I asked them what this instant ramen are. So I opened the first package and I saw that there are two uh, packets of oil. I think these are flavorings and there are two sets of noodles so basically this is similar to other instant noodles but each pack is good for two servings and each pack is consumable for three to four months so the packaging has an expiration date at the back this one is will be expired on February 23 2021 so I have two months Let's try it. So this is how it looks like. So basically as you can see there's a lot of noodles for one pack. So I, I could say that each pack is good for two people. So let's try the soup first. Mm. So basically for this one it's salty because I put only a little bit of uh, water in it, but it's really tasty <sighs> The soup is really good It's like creamy salty And I really love it so I'll try the noodles now. This is the noodles So let's let me try it It is different from the ramen that I've tried from famous uh, ramen restaurants but you can't compare this to instant noodles here in the Philippines because the soup is really nice the noodles is really chewy and it's like you're eating a pasta a creamy pasta when you try this but the taste of creamy pasta is like cream and uh, sweet a little bit sweet but this is a kind of salty meaty flavor uh, this one should be better if you have any type of meat like pork chicken even fish could work with this one so I'll finish this one as my dinner today and we'll try the other flavors next so now we're trying the wheat up chicken bone soup and on this second ramen I prepared uh, meat which is a luncheon meat I don't have a tonkatsu so Let's try the chicken bone soup of Onika. The noodles is ready. Mm. Let me try this one. So, obviously, all the noodles are the same. Uh, the only difference is the soup so basically this is soy based like soy sauce the weird thing is the first one that I tried which is a tonkotsu ramen tastes like a chicken noodles but this one is like a soy sauce noodles but this is still good I add a little bit of uh, sauce in it 
because the last time that I tried it, it's so salty. So the best thing with this uh, ramen is the noodles, because obviously it doesn't look like you're eating an instant noodles because of the noodles of the ramen. Adding a little bit of uh, vegetables in this, like cabbage or lettuce, this will be really good. Maybe the next time that I'll eat, I'll have meat and also the tom lettuce. Mm. So this is my dinner for today. Let's go with the next noodles. So right now we'll be trying the blue version which is the soy sauce and scallops it's been quite a while since I tried the last one because uh, it's Christmas and New Year and I've eaten a lot so I'm just watching some videos on YouTube and I saw Naruto craving for ramen so I remember I have ramen here I still have three of them so let me try it mm -hmm. so I'll sh show it to you So basically it's a clear broth soup again with really nice uh, noodles. The noodles are all the same. I think the only difference is the soup. And if you could add some vegetables in here and uh, meat, that would be better. But I don't have that right now so I'm trying it. Mm. So I think the trick on cooking this one is you need to know how much uh, water you need to put because everything here is Japanese I think it says 500 ml here but I'm not sure for one or two servings but I think I put almost a liter so I think that would be the best one because the previous ramen that I tried I just put a little and the soup is so salty so right now it's a little bit better basically adding the correct uh, amount of water on the soup will really improve the taste of the ramen itself so yeah I'll finish this and I'm not sure if when will I eat the other two but hope that you'll try this and buy it from iJapan shop